This actually wasn't the video that I was planning to film and get uploaded first, but I do have a couple products that have time constraints on them. So this one does have to go up first. My next video, my Project Hen Pan update video, that one does have a couple life updates on where the heck I've been, what the heck has been going on, but just lightly because a lot of the topics are sensitive and some of them aren't mine to share. So anyway, getting into this, I have some products here that I've collectively <laughs> accumulated. Some of it way back when we were in Illinois, right before we left at the very end of September, beginning of October. Other stuff, it's been acquired since I've been back here in Utah. So I have stuff here from Ulta, there's stuff from Walmart, a little bit from TJ Maxx, and then I do have two products that were sent to me from Oxley that I wanted to talk about a little bit, but I'm gonna start off with the Ulta stuff since I had the most of it. So I did go in store once, well, I probably went in store two or three times while I was over in Illinois and then I did make one online order for a specific item. I had only taken cushion foundations with me when I went to Illinois, so I decided I was really missing like a standard drugstore liquid foundation and I'd heard a lot of buzz about the foundations from L'Oreal, so I decided to pick this one up. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow 24 Hour Foundation. I got the shade 201. This is all right. Um, in combination with it, I did have to pick up a new uh, Real Techniques beauty sponge. Typically, I usually just use my fingertips. Sometimes I'll use a brush, but I wanted to try it out with the sponge and it's all right. Uh, let me know if you have dry skin, what primer do you use with this? Because I still have a little bit of trouble with it looking a bit dry on the skin. It does have really nice coverage and it sits relatively well on my skin, as dry as it is, but when we were in Illinois, it looked so much better on my skin because they have so much more humidity than the dry heat here. So if you have any tips on how to make this work, if you had dry skin, definitely let me know. But so far, it's a pretty decent foundation. This next thing is absolutely gorgeous. I had one of my Stila Glitter and Glow shadows dry out on me while I was over in Illinois. So I had heard some really great buzz about these products here from CoverGirl, and I really wasn't expecting much. And it looks like this isn't open, but it's just how I slice the back of the package open but these are the covergirl exhibitionist liquid shadows they're very similar to the stila glitter and glow shadows this one's in shade number two at first blush and it's just called a liquid glitter eyeshadow the applicator tip is very similar to the ones from stila it feels a little bit more plush in my opinion yeah it's probably not going to pick up the shimmers as well as it does in real life but the base is very light i really like wearing this one just all over like the inner corner of the eye and i'll spread it out over the lid and then i'll put something deeper in the crease i was actually planning to wear this today but I decided to go for like a yellow lid instead. But if you really enjoy the Stila glitters, I would recommend these. I've only tried one, but I do have two more on my wish list, so I might eventually end up picking those up because the Stila ones are so expensive and they dry out so fast, I found, but this is a really gorgeous color. It really hits the light. The shimmers are insane. It's just packed with shimmers and glitters in here, and it's very easy to remove. I didn't find that these fell down onto the face at all. I didn't really have any fallout at all with this that I've noticed so far, but yeah, this is very impressive, no creasing, nothing. If you've tried these, let me know how you feel about them, but my thoughts so far, these are phenomenal. They also had a sale going on. I noticed that Sephora was doing the exact same sale, but they had the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils on sale, so I did end up picking up three, even though I did not need them. They were just so gorgeous, and I decided if the price was right, then I'll grab a couple. I, I feel like the colored pencils, like the colored ones and not black and brown and stuff, I feel like the colored ones can sometimes be hit and miss. I found that the matte versions are so much better. They perform a little bit better for my eyes anyways, but I ended up picking up three of them. I picked up Love Drug, Vice, and Mainline. So there are the swatches of the three that I picked up right here. Love Drug is like a maroon kind of pinky red. 
I think it's a, I would probably wear that one more at the outer corner, blown out underneath the bottom lash line or in the waterline itself. Uh, the purple one is Vice, and that one does have just the little bit, tiniest bits of shimmers in it, but it still looks really beautiful. You really can't pick up on the shimmer too much. It just, it looks like there might be just the slightest bit of a sheen to it, but it looks really nice on the upper lash line. But I think my favorite out of all three is the shade Mainline, and that is that kind of tealish blue. It's a very deep beautiful kind of ocean blue color. So I'm very happy with the three of these, but like I said, my favorite is the shade Mainline that's blue. It's definitely a matte one, but it is stunning. I really like that, not only in the waterline, a little bit smudged out on the bottom lash line as well, but also I can get away with wearing this one because it is matte and it's so pigmented as like a on the upper lash line kind of winged out a little bit even. So I have been enjoying these. They also had a deal going on the Benefit Precisely My Brow pencils and these are the scroll up version. So I ended up picking up two different shades of these and I think they were half price as well. So I got the shade 4.5 and does it say what the color is? No, oh, they don't give specifics on like the description of the color, but I got 4.5, which like, uh, it's like a neutral medium brown shade. And I really like to use this one right at the front part of my brows and I'll lightly fill them in. And then I picked up the very deepest shade in number six. And with this one, I like to take it and go underneath my brow and fill in the tail portion. So it's a little bit more of a contrast between the front and the ends. I really enjoy the tips on these. They're extremely tiny. They're almost as tiny as the Anastasi ones. The only drawback with these pencils that I've found so far, I love them. I love the consistency of the product and I like how you can blend them out if you apply a little bit too much or whatever, but the only drawback is that these guys don't have a spoolie on the end. They just have the top cap that comes off. So a mm, little bit of a drawback there because I have to pull out another product or another eyebrow pencil that does have this spoolie so I can kind of run it through the brows. But I do like these quite a bit. I have been on the hunt for a new favorite mascara since my all time hands down favorite mascara from Laura Mercier was discontinued. And I attempted to purchase like five or six backups of it and every single store canceled every one of my orders. I was so frustrated. So I had heard a lot of buzz about this mascara line here. This is from Essence. This is the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. So far I'm impressed. Is it as good as my all time favorite mascara? No, I don't think anything will ever compare to that. But I used this one today. I tried it out last night for the first time and I'll admit, <laughs> uh, I should have jumped onto the bandwagon a long time ago, but this is an interesting formula. It's definitely wet enough for my liking, but it's not too, it's not too wet, but it's not too dry. And it almost has that same kind of waxy buildable feel that my favorite mascara has. So the wand here, I don't know how well you can pick up on the bristles. It's almost like a triangular shape. It gets really tapered at the tip and that really does help get right, you know, right at the inner corner lashes that you have hanging out there. I don't prefer this one on the bottom lashes, but it does work on the bottom. Regardless, this is a really nice mascara. I just picked up the green one because that's the one that had the most reviews. So yeah, so far, so good on that. Another cult product that they had on the website during the sale, I believe, was the Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipsticks. And the shade Stone has been on my wish list for so long just because of the way that it's described by everybody, it's, it sounds like the absolute perfect shade color for me that I like to wear. So I did pick one up. I actually had three or four that I was gonna purchase because they were at such a discounted price. I thought I might as well, but I ended up just sticking with one and I'm really glad that I did. I feel like they're just the tiniest bit too drying on my lips. I can get away with it if I toss some lip balm over the top, but that's not something that I want to do every single time. I want a liquid lipstick to not make my lips feel like they're cracking or to have 
excessive lines in my lips. But anyway, I picked up the shade Stone. I do like the applicator on these. It almost has like a scoop, like an ice cream scoop out of it. So it does collect a lot of products. So you really don't have to dip back in when you're applying it to the lips. But that is the shade Stone right there, swatched out. Yeah, it's a really pretty kind of light, pinky, cool toned, nudie pink, I guess I would call it. <laughs> I don't know, I just described it like 14 different ways, but it's a really pretty color. It does dry down just the tiniest bit darker than it is in the swatch and in the tube, but it's still beautiful. I'll still get a lot of wear out of it. So you guys haven't heard the whole story yet, but you will in my Project 10 Pan update, but... <laughs> All of my makeup, skincare, and hair care products that I took over to Illinois with me, and obviously when you travel, you take your favorite stuff, um, all of that is sitting in the back of a locked vehicle in the middle of Iowa. Middle of nowhere in Iowa, and I cannot access that car. So, I had to get a backup of one of my favorite products. This is the MAC Paint Pot. I went as long as I could without having to reorder this, but I can't. I can't do my eyeshadow without it and it doesn't turn out right. So I did pick up another painterly. It just showed up recently, like two days ago. So I've just barely been dabbing into it. <sighs> Man, I'm so frustrated about all that lost makeup. But like I said, you'll hear more about that later. But I'm so happy to have another one of these. And normally I purchase my products from MAC from the Mac store or off the website, but I just decided I had a 20% off coupon, so I might as well get it. And then the final thing, yeah, I do believe this is the final thing that I picked up from Ulta. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 16 hour full coverage concealer right here. And I picked up the lightest shade 01. This one's in Fair Cool and I love this. I feel like I should have picked up two. So this is what the packaging looks like on here. I'm sure a lot of people have already tried this out. And I'm super late to the game, but it's just a scroll up stick concealer and it is beautiful for underneath the eye area, especially. I love it for that. If there's like a little blemish on the skin, you can kind of just dab this out and then dab it with your with your finger or something and just blend it very lightly, but I'm in love with this. I love this for underneath the eye area, so it's definitely gonna stay on my wish list for the next sale, whether it's Sephora or Ulta. I'm definitely gonna be snagging another one of those if I go through it as fast as I think I might. I have a product here that was sent to me complimentary from Sol de Janeiro. This is their My Soul Stick. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen stick, and you can actually use it for your lips, on your face, or on your tattoos. And I've only been using this on the back of my hands and on my tattoos. I haven't yet tried it out on my face or anything, but I like to keep a stick sunscreen like this. I've had a couple in the past, but I like to keep them in my purse. So if I'm driving and I forgot to put some sunscreen on the back of my hands, I definitely like to do that. I also like to um, put a little bit of this on my tattoo that's on my ring finger here, especially when I'm driving, just because you gotta keep your tattoos protected from the sun. So I, I'm i wearing a long sleeve shirt, so I can't show you how I apply it to my other tattoos, but you just roll this up and it's like a very large, massive lip balm. That's kind of the feeling that I get from it. The scent on this one, I thought it was supposed to have the exact same scent profile as their Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, but I swear this has way more of a caramel scent to it. It almost reminds me of their lip balm. I feel like their lip balm smells a little bit more like s salted caramel than the pistachio side of it, but it still smells really nice. And so far it's been working really well for me. This is what the box looks like here. It has that same aqua and mustard yellow color combo. I really like that. I think it looks really nice. It's very aesthetically pleasing to my eye. It does say on the side here that you can use this on your lips, your nose, your ears, your eyes, your hands, and tattoos. It has that saying Kupausu butter. 
I can never pronounce that right, but it also is made without parabens, sulfates, phthalates, no animal byproducts, PEGs, and no petroleum. So this is a really nice product. If you're in the market for something like this, yes, there are some cheaper alternatives out there, but this has that SPF 50, which is what I typically reach for. So, and I have had this one on my wish list. I just hadn't purchased it yet. I was planning to pick it up during the Sephora VIB sale, but now I got it, so I don't have to, but this is definitely going to last me for a very long time. I think I'm almost done with the one that's currently in my purse right now, so this one will get a lot more use very, very soon. So thank you very much to Sol de Janeiro. This next product was sent to me complimentary from Fresh. This is the Fresh Sugar in the City Lip Treatment. These have an SPF of 15. This one's kind of special because this one was created in collaboration with Ingrid Nilsson. I don't believe that it has a specific name to it, but it's like this super universally flattering berry plum kind of shade, if that's a way to describe it. I did swatch it out right there, and it's coming off a lot more pink on camera, but in person it has more of a purple hue to it. That I love the packaging on this, but as you can see here, it's more of a deeper tone. It kind of reminds me, it's, it's similar in how it performs to like MAC Lipstick and Rebel. Like you could just dab this on the lips just barely and blend it out. Or let me see if I can do that a little bit here. Okay, so I just dabbed a little bit out down here and blended it out with my finger. And then I did a couple more passes up there on the top swatch. So it's coming off way more red in person, but this has that like plummy berry undertone. It looks really beautiful, I have to say. I wish that the fresh lip balms had just the slightest bit more of an SPF in them, maybe like a 25, 20 or 25, but I think the packaging is beautiful. I think the actual container is beautiful. The product is really versatile in how you can use it. And I love these kinds of colors on the lips. I just used up two products that are very similar to this in that same kind of very light wash of purple plum sort of a shade and this one will replace them so really excited to have this one in my hands and it also smells like a lemon it's got that same kind of fresh fragrance that they have in all of their lip products so this is nice if you see this one out definitely swatch it out in person because it does have a little bit more of a plummy tone it looks like it's coming off more red in person but or i mean red in the video but it's definitely got like that purple undertone to it but i wanted to move over to walmart items really quick because i picked up some really cool things well one in particular so i had heard that these had come out and i just really hadn't run across them yet in store but this is one of the wet n wild mega last liquid katsu shimmer liquid eyeshadow and this one is in the shade goldilocks 566a this is stunning this is almost exactly the same kind of concept as the stila glitters but this one almost has like a green a greenish gold tinge to it and i think that's gorgeous okay. so maybe you can pick up on this so that's the one from cover grill up at the top it has a ton of shimmers and it has a very light like champagne pinky almost base to it but this one from the on the bottom that's the wet and wild one. Oh man that is gorgeous and both of these you can put a little bit down you can dab just a little dot right at the inner corner of your eye and then you can just kind of dab it out with your fingertip if you wanted a sheerer application of it but if you wanted it more built up and more intense on the eyes you can definitely do that as well they layer pretty well so that is probably one of the most beautiful colors shimmers glitters I've ever seen in my life. So both of those, I highly recommend them. Hopefully that shimmer is picking up on camera just the slightest little bit, but this I've been wearing a lot. So love that, love that very much. That was the only one that they had in store in Illinois. So I definitely want to go look up some swatches and pick up maybe one or two more of those instead of having to go spend like 25 bucks on one from Stila. And when I didn't have my nail polishes over there in Illinois, I decided I'll just go pick up a couple from Walmart. 
and I got two Sinful Colors polishes here. I've had this one in the past, and I currently own a bottle of this, but mine, I'm about halfway finished with it already, and it's technically, this one's my third bottle, technically, but uh, that one that's halfway finished, it's very thick, so I always have to dump a ton of thinner into it, so I just decided this is one of my favorite shades to pull out in the summer transitioning into the fall time and the cooler months so I grabbed another bottle of that but now that I'm home it's not necessarily something that I need to reach for I'm probably going to use up my other one first then this other one is called boom boom right here oh the blue one this is endless blue of course it's like they're it's like one of their famous uh, nail polish colors ever but yeah this one is called boom boom number 851 and this is really pretty as well this one's on my toes currently i really like it i like something kind of bright and fluorescent but it's not like a neon pink you know sometimes that can feel like it's a little bit too much for your toes especially in the cooler months but i really like this tone of pink and these are only like 1.99 at walmart you can't really beat it i was in need of a couple shower products so i did opt for a new shampoo from the drugstore i did just pick up uh just a little bottle of the moroccan oil shampoo from sephora during the last vib sale and i was really impressed with that but that's in the back of the car and i have no access to it so i decided to pick this up from garnier this is their whole blend smoothing shampoo this one is the coconut oil and cocoa butter extract shampoo it's supposed to sm smooth and control frizzy hair i cannot talk today it's been a long week, I tell ya. I finally got one day off. I've worked like, out of eight days, I think I had one day off and they are insane shifts, very physically demanding. So I'm, I'm trying to get my energy back and recuperate today. Back to the shampoo. It doesn't have the most amazing coconut fragrance I've ever smelled in my life, but it's supposed to be paraben free but I think it did have sulfates in it, which was kind of weird, but whatever. Um, I'll use it, I'll finish this off, and then I probably won't purchase this again. I usually have to wash my hair twice with this, just because I feel like washing it once, it really doesn't do the job. I feel like it, it needs to be washed twice for it to really feel clean when I'm using this. And then the last, like, body care item that I picked up from Walmart, and the last thing from Walmart, really, is this Tree Hut Bear Prep and Shave Kit. So I think I put these back in upside down, but I just wanted to show you the kit here. I've been trying to hunt this particular item down for so long and I finally found it in a kit. So this is their moisturizing shave oil and I'm, I think I'm transitioned over. I think I'm in love with this. This is my new favorite method of shaving. It just leaves this super slippery silicone filling barrier between your skin and the razor and I feel like I get such a it's so much of a closer shave it feels like when I use an oil like this compared to just using like a shave cream so I'm really liking this one but I've only used it a handful of times I think the scent on these I can't find it anywhere maybe I'm just blind but it's like their coconut lime version so it, it smells really lovely if you're into the coconut lime combination. Um, and then before I shave my legs, I've been using this a little bit. This is their Tree Hut Shave Prep Sugar Scrub. And usually I get the tubs from Tree Hut, like the sugar scrubs from Tree Hut. And I, I think the squeezy tube is a little bit easier to handle when you're shaving your legs, especially in the showers. So you don't have to sit there and unscrew the cap, screw the cap back on. You can just pop it open, squeeze them out in your hand, and scrub around so I'm really liking this so far and then the last little bit that I have here is from TJ Maxx I have this cute little thing I found here this is a Beano lipstick tower and I got the one that holds 20 of them so instead of the ones that stand like this you know just like your basic ones I have a couple over there but I'm not gonna go grab them but they're just flat and your lipstick stands straight up well this one you set it like this and then your lipsticks can hang out of it like that here I'll put these in so you can kind of get a clue of what it looks like pretend that these are lipsticks but they sit like this on the dresser and then your lipsticks are upright. I think that's so cool. And I got the one that had 20, that would hold 20. I think they had a smaller one that held like 
10 or 12 or something, but I went with the 20 guy just because I feel like it takes up less space if it's vertical instead of horizontal. So really excited about this. And this was only $6.99. So that's a heck of a steal, I feel like. I also found this there. I was super stoked about this as well, but this is from The Body Shop. It is their Strawberry Body Mist. And this was $3.99. The Strawberry Fragrance is my all-time favorite fragrance from The Body Shop, but only in the body butter, like in the lotion form. The, the body mist is just a little bit different, so I prefer the fragrance of the strawberry and their body butters, but you know, I'll use this. I'll use it in combination with my body butters, and I think I can get through it pretty quickly. I'm already down to like here, in this product, but I have had this for a little bit now. And then the final thing that I found, I was so stinking excited, you guys have no idea. This is from Kat Von D, and it was only $5.99. It's one of her crushes. It's a glitter gel for the face and body, and this one's in Tesoro Gold. And the last time I looked, these were still on the Sephora websites. They were clearance down or on sale or something, but I had to pick one up as soon as I saw it. This looks like it would be completely amazing if I just put this all over my lid or if I just use this as a liner or something, but that is what it looks like in there. Wow. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Let me see if I can do a little swatch of what this looks like. I'm not sure how well this is gonna come across, but that is it swatched right there. You're probably getting more of a reflection off that one from, oh, can you see it there? It's more metallic. I know I had the sun shining right there, but it's super metallic and beautiful. Wow. Like, I just feel like if it was all over my lid, I think it would be so stunning. So I'm excited to play around with it that way. I was thinking I might try and do a little bit of like a metallic eyeliner and then put a little bit of black underneath it or something, but I'm very excited to play around with that. Normally I'm not a gold person, but I feel like both of these, this one almost, this one from Wet n Wild almost has like this green tinge to it. And then this one from Kat Von D is so vibrant and so metallic that it almost isn't a gold, it's like a yellow at that point. But yeah, this is just like liquid gold in there. If you can get it swatched out just right, it really just glistens. So yeah, anyway, I think I'm gonna go put all this stuff up. I really appreciate you guys watching and definitely let me know if you've tried out any of these items or if you have thoughts or opinions on them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.